fifth in the innings, five wickets to date out of nine that have fallen for 196. There's something came out of that series which the Australians noticed instantly. They noticed it uh, in the game at Trent Bridge. They came off and in talking later they said, he's getting wickets, that guy, and uh, he's not even bowling well all the time. And this is something that uh, I've noticed all the way through your career. You're always an attacking bowler, and uh, you've always been able to trouble the Australians in that fashion. Yeah, I think you've got a ball in your hand. The English bowlers, I mean, I've played with a lot of very, very fine bowlers. Mike Hendrick, one of the finest mechanical bowlers I ever saw, in the sense that Mike could run in and hit the, the hanky. But Mike was, he was so, he never wanted to give away runs. And to me, runs weren't important. It was getting the guy out. And if, if you bowl three, swinging half volleys outside off stump and the first two went for four, there's every chance the third one would be nicked to slip. Whereas Mike Hendrick, you know, I used to bowl at the other end to Mike and Mike got me a lot of wickets because he used to keep them tight, tight, tight. Then I'd come in and bowl something that swung away or maybe wasn't as good a delivery but the batsman's eyes lit up. Thank you very much, nicked it. <laughs>